Hi guys, thought I'd show you the difference between plasma ignition and non-plasma ignition with a uh, with a leg and without a leg. This one's the one with the leg. So I'll just turn that on. This is 90 hertz normal ignition. Well, normal CDI ignition. So I'll turn that off. And let's put this high voltage diode in there. It's a 20,000 volt diode. And uh, it's a 2 amp, 20 amp diode. And about four, 3 quid. That's it. That's going to the positive on the ignition coil. So, not using proper leads, but doesn't matter. Right, what's the difference? That's the plasma spark with a leg. I'm certainly not touching that. Right, let's turn it off. Now, compare that with the spark plug with no leg. So we'll do it without the plasma ignition first. Okay. Diode in. This is the joys of doing things one handed. I should get myself a body cam or something one day. Right. Now, this is the most impressive one, I think, out of all of them. So this is plasma, no leg. So all the tests I've done so far uh, that you've seen have been done with the spark plug with a leg. So uh, you can get proper spark, um, proper plasma uh, spark plugs, plasma ignition spark plugs, and they've got no leg. And this bit's been specially designed to cope with it. Um, but yeah, so no gaps to adjust. And all this stuff was invented in the 70s. And the manufacturers decided to shelve plasma ignition because it's too efficient. And uh, that's why we've never had it. And uh, Aaron Murakami dug that up and simp simplified the uh, the way to do it. And as you can see, oops, it's pretty powerful. I can turn this down.
but yes it's very very effective and uh, if you make the capacitance bigger uh, for the spark because this is this is actually a negative resistor you're discharging the spark uh, at supersonic speed so it's it's making a, a superconductor a superconducting spark um, if you up the capacitance you can uh, you can even make water explode.